Magool Mike Massey was born and raised in Roxbury. There he found his spirit of focus through the sport of football when he was just 10 years old. And he candidly explains he did this in order to dodge the influx of drives and crub that plagued his beloved neighborhood as a child. Now today Mike is a full-time certified yoga instructor who devotes much of his time to helping others in his neighborhood, not only with his yoga sessions, but with his positive and inspiring message. Please help us welcome back, and I say back, because Mike was a camera operator here at Channel 7 back in the day. Nice to have you back, Good my friend. Good to be here. Good to be here. How are you? I'm excellent. Excellent. Good. So before we get into this, tell me a little bit about your journey. How did you get to be a yoga instructor? Because Charles was asking me that. <laughs> Listen, I tell this to a lot of the young fellas that I mentor. Love. Uh, my wife. I suffered a serious injury playing semi-professional football with the Boston Bandits. Um, and football has been my life. It protected me most times when I, I was in danger. So when I lost this ability to do something that was such a part of my life, I was depressed. Wouldn't get out of bed. My wife finally said, you got to get out of bed. So she started doing yoga on her own, but she did everything wrong. So I started correcting, and she said, see, this is what you should be doing. And she pushed me to get my certification, and here I am. Yeah. I, want to, I want to show folks, before we get any further, because I think a picture is worth a thousand yeah. words. I want to see folks, see you do it now. I don't know how you do that, Mike. Uh, if you get Charles to do that, check to do that, I will pay you cash. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's thousands of deep breaths and thousands of hours of practice. See, I think in today's society with the youngsters, you can click a button on Google and... You can find anything. This is in Rosendale, you do a class? Definitely, Crunch in Rosendale. You can find me most nights, most afternoons, working with the community. Now, I like this. You're going to be doing this this summer again. I heard this was free, right, on Definitely. Saturday mornings? Free at the Esplanade. We start in July, around, I think right after the 4th of July. Um, we start doing it free every Saturday. Come one, come all, bring free myself. And this is you? This is really you right here? That is me. The, not a stunt double. That is me. Like I said, um, on my journey, I've learned confidence is everything, and we all have confidence. It's just that we take hits, and sometimes our confidence wavers, but confidence will get you through anything. Yeah. Now, you told me that it's not, yoga is not just for the body, oh, no. but it's for the mind and the spirit. Yes. And that's what you're telling a lot of these young cats uh, from the neighborhood. I think they need to know how to decompress. I think everybody knows how to be tough, and everybody knows how to be hard, but sometimes you need to know how to let go as well. I think that could literally save lives in my community and communities around the world. What do people say to you um, when they haven't seen you in a while, like it's happened here, and you're like, oh, I'm a yoga instructor now? They usually laugh. I and mean, people don't usually take me serious um, because it's unheard of for a guy from my neck of the woods. I've even lost lifetime friends and family members because I made this choice because because where I live and what area code I'm from, I'm supposed to live a certain life. Really? You Tell know? me more about that. Um, the one thing that irks me is when people say, man, you're too happy. Yeah. And I say, well, who sets the stipulation on how happy we can be? But because I came up a certain way or I ran with a certain crowd as a youngster, I'm supposed to be limited to that. And that's why I use yoga as um, a way to find my freedom. And that's basically what I teach people. We all deserve a freedom, but most of us are looking for an exterior answer when the answer is here. Okay. Now, um, I do want to try to see if we can hook you up, man. Your dream job, and I'd love to see you on the sidelines, my man. Uh, your dream job would be to work with the Patriots as yoga instructor oh, for the team. I, I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about just working with guys, any, any football guys, because me being a football guy, we're taught and we're praised for being aggressive. We're given awards and acc uh, accolades for being aggressive, but some of us can't turn it off when we get home and that leads to domestic violence and things like that. So I want to be able to save the people who are dealing with this aggression and getting paid for it and teach them how to separate the two. That's yeah. all. But I would love to do that job. I'd love to work with the home team, man. Yeah. Definitely. All right, before we go, I want to give a shout out to your old neighborhood. What streets? What are some of the guys and people out there you want to give a nice shout out? You're on Channel 7 Listen, now. Man. Talking about yoga. To the whole Roxbury area, Dorchester, Mattapan, to the Boston Bandits. I still got a lot of brothers there. Rest in peace to Odin Lloyd. Um, I just want to let y'all know I'm, I'm still, I haven't made it yet, but I'm still working on making it, and this is a very big step, and I thank you for this opportunity, right. Alberto. Mike, well, we wish you a lot of luck. You know you got a lot of love here at Channel oh, 7. Always. In front of the camera, behind, and for those who want to contact you, you're on Facebook. We've got that up. Mm -hmm. Mike Mass underscore Roxbury on Instagram, and your phone number. Thank you so much, Mike. Right, thanks All for right, having me, man. No problem. All right.
That's it for this edition of Urban Update. But before we go, I want to take a very special moment for a shout out to another member, fellow class member of the BC High Class of 85, Chuck Straven and his family have been a true inspiration for the way they've dealt with a recent unexpected health related crisis and their strength, unity and overall great positive vibes through it all has been very admirable. The good news is, looks like they've come through it with flying colors. Congrats, Chuck, and thanks for reminding all of us how to stay strong through the tough times. For all of us here at Urban Update, have a great Sunday, everyone. Thank you.